that was my former guardian who's retired who I saw coming in here and yeah it wouldn't be cool of me to video in the actual room because um, it's uh, too personal and too serious so there's these two little booths over here and after you walk in you give the lady your electric card so she can see that you're in the right bureau and there's a blue envelope there and I had my uh, ballots from home I had gotten them in the mail but you can have new ones if you want and if you don't want anybody to know how you're going to vote you take one of each and you put them in the wastebasket and they're all recycled and recyclable paper and then you step into one of these little booths which are just you know flimsy things and um, you pull the curtain shut so that people can't see what if anything you're putting in the envelope because if you really don't like any of the candidates you can give an envelope with nothing in it and then they have this uh, table here and there's a couple guys working here and I'm not going to show their faces but you can see their legs and there's this clear urn they call it an urn and um, there you can see there are it's before two in the afternoon quite a few people voted already there was very high turnout um, at the last election I think it was 80% which is quite unheard of here in France uh, unfortunately election turnout tends to be uh, pretty darn low here which is not good um, and uh, you stand in line which is usually very short and um, they call your number and your name and then you give them your piece of identity which in my case I gave them a French passport and your electric card which gets stamped once you're finished well it gets stamped at that point excuse me and then you put your uh, blue envelope through a slot when they tell you to and then they say a voté mean, meaning that you have voted and then you step over to the person uh, to their right and you sign uh, a book uh, to show that you were present and then they say goodbye and then you leave which is what I'm doing now and I hope I'm going the right way oh I'm lost yeah this is the way I want to go so that's voting in France we'll see later what happened boy they don't like Sarkozy around these parts but Saint-Denis is a very a very 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 unusual city in France it's extremely mixed it there are a lot of communists and a lot of other political parties present here a lot of people a lot of people affiliated with a variety of political parties and most of France is not like that most of France is extremely heterogeneous you know people are kind of you know for the left or for the right or maybe down the middle and that's about it you know maybe maybe green you know maybe and most of the French are pretty white and um, this is the most secular country in the world I think it's about over 70 percent of the population which is about 66 million people have no declared religious affiliation whatsoever it hasn't been a Catholic country uh, for many decades now as far as what I can gather although Tuesday I believe uh, is another holiday though not a religious one I think it's um, <clears throat> an armistice holiday or Liberation Day. Yeah, I think it's Liberation Day, referring to World War II. So, for people here to be really anti Sarkozy is not all that surprising. And I, I really like the mix here. And as you can see, the Saint Denis, well, it's a huge city. There's a, a huge part called La Plaine which is corporate and industrial and there's an island on the River Seine which has its own city hall and then there's the central part of Saint-Denis which has its own city hall which is 
Um, and then a lot of other outlying areas such as where I live and, and many even farther away. Um, very, very densely populated. As I said, extremely, extremely mixed. Um, we've noticed, uh, it was actually my spouse who noticed this first, uh, a lot of older white people moving to saint -Denis. He noticed this like two or three years ago and I thought he was crazy but I started looking and he was right. And we also have an influx of gentrification here. Uh, they're called bobos, bourgeois bohème. And we have a couple with a little baby living in our building, the, the bobo couple, I call them. And it's kind of funny because she's really tall and slender and she looks like a top model, you know, <laughs> and, you know, they got the little, little white baby and the, the white husband and the white wife and the fancy baby equipment and stuff and they're well dressed and so it's really mixed. And our favorite neighbors, uh, also we've noticed that in our building, a lot of our neighbors were here when we moved in, in January of 1995. So our building appears to be particularly stable, um, but very mixed. And I was about to say our favorite neighbors, there's an Arab family we're very fond of, we find them extremely polite and uh, an Asiatic family who we think are tops and <laughs> some of the white French families are, are actually some of the worst so you know there you go if you if you want to start generalizing about racial or ethnic types or anything it really doesn't work although my next door neighbors who are some sort of Algerians or something drive me crazy and across the hall I've got some black Africans who have driven me crazy also. So you never know. And the white French people who live, uh, who live upstairs have started driving me crazy recently also. <laughs> so, you know, that's, that's the fun of having neighbors. And out in the country, the neighbor situation, if you have a bad neighbor, can, can be even worse than here in the city. Oh, la, 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 la. Trust me on that one. All right, see you later. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's the cemetery, and beyond that is are some housing projects that went up in the 70s, and that's the basilica over there. Oh, I'm glad I got that voting out of the way. All right, bye.